Its disorganized and cluttered suburbs spread out along the border with America, but Tijuana is a world apart from the riches of the US. Here, murder, corruption and drugs are a daily threat. This is one of the main routes for drug trafficking. Methamphetamine, cocaine, marijuana and heroin. This is the man many Mexicans hope will change that. Confined to a wheelchair, Julian Lezeola might seem like an unlikely saviour, but he was once the city's hardline police chief, credited with cleaning up Tijuana and then another dangerous border town, Juarez. A lot of average people like myself would say you're crazy to want to become mayor of Tijuana. Maybe, maybe it's uh, crazy. Crazy because Lezeola survived seven assassination attempts but it was the eighth a year ago, captured on video, that left him a paraplegic. The gunman walked up to his window and opened fire. The first time he tried to shot the, the pistol, the, the gun was uh, stuck. And then I tried to, to take the gun, he jumped behind and, and, and try again to shot me. And, and shot me in three times, oh, and that's all. Did you think you were going to die? Yes, I think that. His toddler son was sitting in the back seat as he fought for his life, with one bullet severing his spine. Two men were arrested, but a rival police chief, fired by Lezeola, was accused but never charged with ordering the hit. Lezeola always has a gun with him now on the campaign trail, tucked into his wheelchair, even as he speaks to children. He is constantly surrounded by five heavily armed bodyguards and travels in a bulletproof car. Do you think they'll try again? Maybe, uh, yes. <laughs> he will be a target immediately. He is a target right now uh, because there are some people that is worried that if he comes, he gets elected, things will change and the strong arm will be back in Tijuana. Vicente Calderon is a local journalist. I think the guy is honest. I question his ways and means. In the late 2000s, Tijuana spiraled out of control during a bloody drug cartel war. Thousands were murdered. Lezeola's strong arm approach helped restore calm, but many fear the violence is returning. Oh, we are seeing again people decapitated. We have again seen people chopped to pieces. This man was shot dead in a quiet neighborhood late in the afternoon. This murder, like so many, is part of the ongoing war between the drug cartels here. And crime scenes like this are happening with frightening frequency in Tijuana. Just this morning, two people were found. Their bodies were burned. On patrol with Tijuana's police, you see the city's underbelly. From its seedy red light district, to its most dangerous neighborhoods. This couple was arrested on suspicion of having drugs, but more often it's only the small fish who are caught as corrupt officials turn a blind eye to those who give the orders. People who can get away with murder, literally. When Laziola was police chief, he knocked back bribes from the now jailed cartel boss, El Chapo Guzman. $18,000 uh, a week. $18,000 a week. Were you tempted? No. Nah. But to some, Lezeola is no hero. The allegations that Lezeola was pressed and when they were torturing and beating and giving electric shock to some of the police officers accused of being uh, corrupted for drug traffickers. Did you condone torture? Never. Not involved. Lezeola has been called the bravest man in Mexico. No. Nah. I just did my work, it's, uh, it does all. A hard man facing an even harder challenge.